Welcome to our second video on Praxis 2 for functions. And I enjoy this question. Uh, it's just a good general function question. Here we have f of x equals 3x squared, which means that f of x is a parabola. And we want to know what are all the real values of a and b for which the graph of g of x equals ax squared plus b is the below is below the graph of f of x for all values of x. So we have a graph of f of x, we're going to draw that out, and then g of x, and what when they say that g of x is below f of x, that means it's always below. So so we have to make sure that whatever we decide for g of x, uh, whatever values we assign to a and b, um, that that it's always below f of x. Now on this on this test, you'll have a graphing calculator, and maybe I'll do a whole graphing calculator sequence in other videos. But here, we're just going to talk about the ideas of these functions, right, and do a rough sketch of them, because that's really all you need. What does f of x look like? Well, it's a parabola, right, and we can draw it from the origin. It's going to open up like this, right, and if you really want to get an estimate of of some of these points, we can plug them in, right? If I plug in, for example, 3 for x, I get 3 squared times 3. So if x is 3, we get 3 times 9, which is 27. We can draw that out if we need to. 3, and then up here, this would be 3, 27. And, of course, likewise here as well. That would be negative 3, 27. But we don't even really need that, because g of x has got to be, right, we've got to shift it down past past the origin, so we would definitely want b to be negative, right, so I, here or here, because b is going to shift the position of the function. If b is increasing, right, let's see, if I had this, right, oops, let me fix that. Basically, if I increase b plus b, I'm going up this way, and the function is going to open up like this. If I decrease b, I'm going to go this way. Minus b, it's going to open like this. So that, that tells me that I need to have b as negative and a and, and c can't be it. Now, could a be any real number? Well, absolutely not. Because if you think about the way these functions work, let me clean this, up, clean this graph up a little bit. Oops. And, okay. So let me just go back to my multiple choice and cross out a and and c a cannot be any real number i mean the answer is going to be b and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about why but the reason that a is can't be any real number is because of the way that parabolas open up based on the slope as the slope increases right as it increases this graph will become steeper and steeper so right that this will have an a an a value greater than the green function and if I draw an even steeper value, if I change the a to even to even higher, I get an even steeper parabola, right? So as we go steeper and steeper, these graphs will be inside. So it could be that, and I should say, I'm sorry, I should go back. I should say if if a was greater than three, and this this function was very steep, we want to to add b, right? We want to take this function and move it anywhere up here because once it's steeper than the green function it'll never hit it so if we move b up right you don't want uh, a less steep function because what happens then is well the lower the a value the wider the function opens so this is um, a less than right less than three this is an a bigger than three so is this a is bigger than, than three um, so if we're moving the function down, which we are in this case, right, if we move this function down here, we need it to open up wider than the green curve, than the green parabola. And why is that? Well, because if it's anything less than that, eventually, no matter how far down we place it, it's going to hit the green curve, right? Eventually, it'll cross it. And we don't want that to happen, right? The goal is for these two functions never to hit. So let me say this again. If b was negative, we take the parabola and lower it. And then if we lower it, we need to widen it. 
So we want an A that is less than 3. But if, if we were increasing it, we don't want it to be to have a lower slope. Or if it was up here, for example, and A is less than 3, it's going to open up and eventually it's going to hit the green graph, right? The green parabola. So um, when, you're, when you're dealing with these kind of functions, notice, I mean, I didn't really need to even graph much about this. I probably would have, this is probably what I would have sketched. I would have sketched an x, y, a y, x, 3x squared, something like that. And if you just think about it, that if I go below, I need to have a wider, right, a wider opening. And if I go above, I need to have a narrower opening. And then I'll look at my choices. Or we can go to the graphing calculator and test this out. Especially that's a good idea if you're feeling pressed for time or you just can't remember or you're just feeling nervous. Go back to that graphing calculator and set it up. Okay, I hope that helped.